All right, I'm back. Just checking my stream quality here. Excellent. All right, good. It says it's excellent. So Grogue is a game that I just started playing, and uh, it's I'm having a lot of fun. It's a really good game. Um, see, I've been playing this played like three times. And uh, yeah, I've been having a lot of fun. So, <clears throat> farthest I've gotten technically was depth 10, and that's because I died by falling down a pit from depth 9. So, if that counts, I don't know if it does. We'll see if I can do any better. You now have plate armor. Okay. I really like to enjoy the uh the explore mode early on because I mean I think pretty much every roguelike is really boring in the first couple dungeon levels. And so um I can just kinda zoom through it. Just with one button pretty much. There's real no risk of me dying, so I can just zip on through. Actually, though, I'm going to kill this cobalt, and then I'm going to really recklessly check these potions. So, let's get in here. Actually, let's get in here. Okay, this looks good. Um, I think there's a potion or scroll, it's probably a scroll, but of a... Uh, like summon monster and so I want to be in a hallway so I don't get too surrounded and I don't want to be standing on anything flammable in case I start a fire so the stone floor is good uh, maybe I can get away I, I don't really know what else is out there because I'm pretty new but let's see here potion of life that's really good this puce blue potion this potion of invisibility we got a scroll here, scroll of recharging, and it recharged my eucalypt to staff that I'm going to just use just randomly here. Apply, we'll go in this direction. Alright, staff of obstruction, good. Okay. Um, I just kind of noticed that in this game it makes sense to just use your, your gear and see what it is. Um, there's still plenty of stuff to be afraid of. Really bad things that can happen. But, um, so far it's offset um, by the benefits of having extra utility. Because I can use the actual gear in my pack. I think I'm still invisible. No, I'm not. I'm not. That's okay. Got a new scroll, a couple kobolds, two new scrolls, potion, found the down staircase, rickety rope bridge, there's a bloat, deadly gas, um, if I can get away. It's hunting now. I can hit it with a... If I hit it with a dart now... Oh shoot, it didn't die. There we go. I might be able to outrun the gas. Yeah. And I can hang out and wait. For it to dissipate. I don't know if it was worth the extra time, but maybe that's a good scroll. Alright, and then I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to, um, yeah, I'm just going to read these scrolls here. Uh, there's a hallway here. 
Um, aquamarine potion. Telepathy, sweet. There's a cobalt here. A jackal. What's it? Lavender potion. <laughs> Shit. A potion of creeping death? What is that even? Creeping death? The lichens grasping tendrils poison you. Scalding poison fills your veins. Is this the lichen here? Maybe I can attack it. Nope. Venomous barbs. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. It only spawns two though. So that's fine. There's a new cobalt. Um, take out this jackal here and go down. Let's see. Is that a jelly or a jackal? Jackal, rat, some goblins, a ring up there. Oh, this is a jelly here. I think I think I'll be okay finding the jelly. Or not. That's fine too. Wow. That is not going well at all. Um here, let's uh I was trying to get one step away from it. Oh, just so I could entomb it. I'm gonna rest up here. And then kill the rest of them, I guess. Somehow. My positioning here is really poor. Okay, that didn't go that bad. That's fine. We got a ring here, onyx ring. Some gold. I don't have the ring of uh, identification yet, so I can't tell what the rings are. I, I don't want to try on the rings without identifying them. I know I'm being weird with the potions, but I'm not that weird with the rings. So I think I'd be able to see the eels. With my oh, I don't have telepathy anymore, so I wouldn't know. That's nice that I picked up some rations, though. I I really don't want to die of starvation. It's kind of a boring way to die. Isn't there a door down here? It's locked. Okay. Some food, a pit bloat. Don't really want to melee the pit bloat. But um as soon as it attacks me, yeah. Luckily I didn't land on the fire. That was close. A pink jelly. Luckily it's far away. And the rest up here. Eat some food. Oh wait, I forgot I'm playing a different game now. Okay. I have to apply the food. Rest up. Oh cool, I saw the I saw the trap. That's very lucky. Loads of monkeys. Wow.
Is that a down staircase? That is a down staircase. I might just skip this. Because I really don't want to fight a bunch of monkeys. <clears throat> right, so that's a goblin tome. That'll make the goblin stronger. Haste its allies. They're awake, they're worshipping. Looks like I can take them anyways, which is really good. Acid mound. Oh man, I'm on depth six. Come on, guys. Oh. I really don't want to fight the acid mound. They splash this acid and it destroys your. Well, it doesn't destroy, but it it damages your your gear. It'll damage my, um, it'll damage my armor. I can't not equip a, let's see what happens if I just throw a dart at it while it's adjacent to me. Great, it died. That's lucky. And a cloth is well, no, I'll save the potion of life. More goblin totems. I might be able to take these guys on. See, they just, <laughs> look at this goblin. He's just hanging out there because he knows I can't, I can't attack him. You can't attack that way. From a doorway, you can't attack diagonally. So, uh, he just cheeses you. And he's never going to come through here. Like, he's on pure defense mode. Alright, that's good. I could go around the other way. Take him out. I don't have any darts left. Like, I'm just gonna entomb this thing. And just bail. What's this lichen? Grass like fungus. I can wear that chain. Oh, I can't wear the chain mail. I need one potion of strength. Don't be an acid mound. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out the stealth mechanics in this game. Ugh, sorry, I have a really bad computer chair. This murders my back. Ugh, and, um, it says I have a stealth range of 14. And range makes me think it's like a radius. So, I imagine a 14, I don't know, a circle around me, you know, with a, with a radius of 14. He's definitely in that, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three. Well, maybe. I didn't count exactly, but maybe he's just outside of it. But it says he's wandering. There's another uh mode. It's that little parenthetical phrase under the health of the of the acid mound. 
that's uh, like hunting. And I think that that's when they see you, they switch to hunting. So I think he can't see me, so I'm just going to not go that way. And I don't think he'll follow me. And I think what happened is, because I entombed him and then exited my stealth range, um, or maybe just because he lost sight of me, that I'm considered like stealth to him, and I can get away with... Uh, I can get away with not being chased by him anymore. So I got a bunch of potions here and scrolls, and uh, it's not ideal. It's actually a really bad idea, but I'm going to do it anyways. And uh, check some of them out, see if I can find something cool. Potion of Strength. Nice. I have two of those. Yes, please. 15 Strength. I think I can wear that. Uh, well, I can wear the chain mail. I can almost wear the banded mail. I'm going to put this on. It takes a minute to don the armor. And now I have an armor rating of 5? Question mark? Because it's not identified. And after you use it for like a few hundred turns, then um, it'll give you a more accurate reading. Potion of Descent. Could be worse. So they're all wandering right now, but I bet if I move, they'll all start hunting. See, so one of them did there. Mm, almost all of them. There we go. So this is going to be really annoying because they're all going to steal my stuff. So uh, Yes, yeah, he stole my plate armor. Like, and then he runs away. Whatever, it's fine. It doesn't matter because I have to fight this uh this jelly here. Or try to at least. I think it's pretty likely I'm gonna die here. Ooh, don't I have another one to just push in a descent? So we push in a life. I should probably clock the push in a life. The uh obstruction isn't gonna help me here because it'll 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 entomb me inside the crystal as well. So the potion of life would be a little bit good, but then I'd have to get really lucky. These guys are going to kill me, I think. Oh, sweet. Okay. That's good. There's another one here, but... Uh, My health is doing pretty good. So, that went well. There's an acid mound, but it's really far away. You probably noticed, well, maybe you didn't, but I, like, randomly pass a turn when I see an enemy I don't want to fight, and it's because I instinctively press Z to zap my staff, and I keep forgetting that I have to do I for inventory, F to select the item, and then A to apply. And I can select down here, and then tune in. Um, I might even see it right there. I just hit zap, zap. It's like automatic. All right, a eh. maybe I have another charge here. I do. That's amazing. But I have nowhere to go. Um, nowhere to go. I'll read a random scroll. Identify. I'll identify. Uh, do I want to scroll or? What do I want to identify? What do I want to identify this potion? I can't think of, I can't think of a potion that I know of that'll help me here. Maybe um uh incineration might help. Okay. I'm gonna read another scroll. Whoa. The scroll emits a wave of unsettling purple radiation. So they're discordant. I don't know what that means. Maybe there's a known item selection I can find out. 
Um, there is. Nice. Discord. That doesn't help. It doesn't give me any info. Oh wow, this gives you a list of all the items. Blinking, tunneling. That's interesting. That'll help a lot. Okay. Well, I mean, not right now, but it'll help me someday. I'm just gonna read this. Magic mapping. This game is beautiful. But, um, also not helpful. Ooh, there's one more. Scroll of enchantment. What do I want to enchant? Oh, uh, I don't want to enchant anything. Um, I mean, my staff of obstruction, I guess. I don't even know if that helped at all. I'm trapped in these tunnels, man. I mean, that's not even the issue. Like, eventually the crystals will go away, but the thing is, they're gonna destroy my armor. Maybe T for takeoff. Uh, are these really all of the. These are all the commands. Okay. Move. Apply, throw, relabel. List, travel, autopilot. I don't think I can take off my dagger. Maybe I can throw it. Wait, not the food. I want to throw the dagger. Yeah, I'm sure. Throw it that way. Okay, that actually works for some reason. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Then I can put on my leather armor and not use a weapon I guess I mean I might be able to wield something strange <clears throat> like hit him with my banded mail or something um, no I can't the menus are like contextual so oh he's actually getting away that's really good. That's lucky. Stay far away. Okay, okay. I can get out. Watch. Um, he's running. That's so weird. Where is he going? Did he not see me? That's weird. But somehow I accidentally got out of that one. See, I tried to zap again there. F A Stay there. Where's my down staircase? This looks familiar. Oh dear. Peace out. Don't follow me. You followed me. I specifically asked you not to follow me. Okay. I cannot take these guys on. I can't do it. They're going to kill me. Holy crap. You see him heal? Come on. Oh my god, that was so close. Actually, I want to rest here. It's fine, come here. It's fine. Actually, I don't have a weapon on. That's not fine. Um, E, uh, um, I, E, equip. I don't have time to don armor though, that's okay. Uh, 14 strength, so I can wear the chainmail. Quit. 
I didn't want to put on the armor during the fight because it takes like four turns to put on the armor. The reason that I rest beside doors is it takes, I notice that it takes enemies a certain amount of time to notice you. And I don't know if they'll notice you while they're opening the door or not, but I figure it's worth it just to see maybe if an enemy comes in through the door. If I'm already standing there, maybe I can hit him before they notice me and catch him unaware. This is a conjurer. I really want to kill the conjurer first. Oh, I got myself too. I didn't even get them. How did I not get them? Oh, it's going to kill me. Dang. Uh, this is bad. This is real bad. If I could, there we go. Okay. Wow. I'm going to have to watch that in a recording. Because I shot down and I hit the other goblin and it should have, in my head, it would do them both because it always, you know, does where you target and then the adjacent squares at least. But it spread so far, it got me. And it didn't get either of them. And I saw that the goblin had cast um, protection. So maybe that made it immune. I was really worried too because there's a caustic gas trap here. And uh, if uh, if a special blade had hit it, then that would have hit me too. And uh, I probably would not have survived, I don't think. Although I kind of always think I'm going to die in this game. What's going on down there? Here, I'm going to use my um, telepathy because I caught a glimpse of, a, of an ogre. And I can't fight ogres. They'll kill me for sure. There's vampire bats, ogre here, ogre here, goblin totem. There's a, a ogre that could be friendly if I uh, can free it, but I can't because it's being caught by an ogre. So, okay. Um, there's a toad here. This will be fun. Oh, I got it. Yeah, see, it walked through the, the door, didn't see me, and I killed it, catching it unaware. Maybe I can do that to this ogre too. The really cool thing about telepathy is I can see what they can see. So this ogre is helping me map this level. It's just kind of randomly wandering around. Oh, it's searching. That, see, I caught him unaware. He's off balance now. I only did like 30% of his health. If I can kill this, it'll be huge. Why is it going off balance every time I hit it? That's really interesting. I've never done that before. See how much he chunks me when he hits me? See, I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill him now. Paralysis, enchanting, recharging. I oh got him. That's huge. It's so big. But he didn't drop anything. They're making new goblin totems. It's hard to sleep when you're telepathic. See, they're mapping the level for me. Like, this might as well be magic mapping. These guys are pretty brutal. I think they're going to kill me. This might splash on me and paralyze me too, but it's kind of worth it. Yeah. I'm paralyzed too. Yeah, 
is a fucking goblin conjurer. I'm gonna back up and use staff of obstruction. Ooh, a vampire back up through? Come on, man. Come on, man. I don't have a move here. I don't got I don't have anything. Is there a prey command? I need God right now. I got nothing. Quit, save, autopilot. Alright. Alright. Okay. Um, enchanting, recharging, obstruction. I don't have any. I'm wearing a weird ring. I don't even know what it does. I mean, I'm gonna F, apply. It'll get me too. But maybe I can regenerate a couple hit points. Wow, that's even worse. Okay. Wisdom. Ring of wisdom. And my chainmail is plus one, which is really good. Not that it helped. <laughs> oh. I guess I'm just diving too quickly. I think that's my problem. That was really fun, though. I'm going to play another game. Maybe I can take it a little bit slower. Alright. Same start as always. I'm going to spam the X button here. Actually, I have to test something. I still haven't confirmed. I'm still learning the game. In a, two games in a row, the tan potion was a potion of descent. No, it wasn't. That's good. I'm glad it's different every time. More boring parts where I spam the X button and just explore. Once I clear the level, I'm going to um, blindly quaff and read all my potions. That's just how I roll. And I'll see if I can... Uh, Identify something useful. Alright, turquoise potion. Strength, awesome. Lavender, potion of hallucination. Now, should I wait for it to go away before I finish? I think I should. I'll just enjoy the disco dance party. This game looks so good. Just the full color makes such a big difference. Oh, there's an enemy. A pontificating acid man. Or is it a pontificating dar priestess? Whistling unicorn, perhaps? A yielding phoenix egg? Doesn't matter, it's dead. This stuff takes forever. Might as well get a little bit of experience while I'm at it. Okay. We got a scroll. Portain Glowflum. Ah, scroll of enchantment. Not super helpful. Uh, I guess I'll enchant my scale mail and put it on. I mean, what else am I going to do? Want to go down here?
Oh shoot, I wasn't paying attention. That's so bad. Um, horrible. I just let that goblin conjurer go right by. He's gonna cheese me to death here. I'm not gonna be able to get in. Oh, I'm so bad. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna die. He's not gonna leave me alone either. What a jerk. It might look like I can run here, but I can't run. Because those spectral blades are fast. And he, this goblin conjure, he cheeses you around corners. Because you can't attack like that, so. And I don't have anything. I've got nothing to help me. Except an unidentified wand. Which I'm probably going to use. Well, after all that talk, I guess I can just run. You don't want to chase me. It's fine. So I can heal up here. Come back out. Oh, I guess he doesn't want it. That's good. That's good. I gotta get by this eel. I probably can't, oops, that wasn't what I wanted to do. I probably, oh wow, there we go, I defeated it, really surprised. I'm just going to go down. I don't want to mess with the conjure. I mean, not that I can't, like I probably could, but it's scary and risky and I kind of want to like beat my record right now, so. There we go. Nice. <clears throat> I don't know why, but I was able to sneak up on him. I still haven't figured out the stealth mechanics in this game. Plus four scale mail. That's hella good. Awesome. Yeah, just, just go ahead. That's fine. Jellies. Oh, jackals. Good. Okay. That's kind of cool, because the, the monkey got the door key for me. The door keys spawn on these uh, candlelit altars, but it's dangerous to stand on them because sometimes they're trapped. And the monkey found it for me. So now I have a door key. I don't think I've seen a locked door yet. Plate armor. Oh shit. I haven't been eating. There you go. Okay. Gray potions. Locked iron door. How convenient. What is up room? Yes, I love these rooms. Okay. So we got a dagger, a staff of conjuration, splint mail, wand of empowerment, fire immunity charm, and an axe. That's not that good of a room. I mean, not to me and what I know. I see I got a viewer in here. What's up? Do you know what I should pick? Dagger. Brief phantom blades will be called into service. So this is like a, this is like being a goblin um conjurer or whatever they're called. 
a lot of empowerment. This is for like allies. I guess it makes them smarter and stronger. Improve the mind and body of any monster it hits. Splint nail. An axe. I mean, it's got to be either the Staff of Conjuration or the Dagger, because I can't use these because I'm weak. I only have 13 strength, so the Axe is too heavy for me. I'll get a penalty for being weak. So I can use the Dagger. I'll actually get a bonus for being too strong. <sighs> the Staff of Con I mean, I can... I could cheese enemy. Like if I can get away from them and hide in a door, then I could do what the Goblin Conjurer does. But I could only do it twice. And I only get three. But worst case scenario, that's about three turns it'll take the enemy to get to me. But the dagger might be really good. So I'm gonna take the dagger. And I'm just going to put it on without identifying it. Okay. Done. Thanks, carpeted room. Pink jelly. These things just get scarier and scarier, they really do. There's a monkey here. I really want to know what that dagger is. I hope I didn't grab a crappy dagger. Oh, it's an acidic jelly. Oh. I thought I was fighting a toad. Oh, I'm hallucinating. Okay, I'm stupid. Alright, good. I was worried I screwed up my dagger. That's good. Um, I don't want to hang out in this room because there's inactive vent gases everywhere and pressure plates. And if a monster triggers it, I might die like poison or something. So, let's take out this toad here. More toads. That's weird. So I noticed the grass-like fungus that crunches underfoot does not increase my stealth range. But being in a well-lit area does. You free the grateful phylactery and gain a faithful ally. That's no phylactery. That's a pontificating ogre totem. I'm I'm really just way too amused by hallucination in this game. It's really fun. Actually, I should probably blindly start using some of these items. Um, the thing is. I don't want to hurt my golem because my golem might um, get mad at me. So I'm going to wait until it dies, which I believe is an inevitability. What is this? It's still doing okay, I think. This is jackals. Some food over here. Ah, shit. Alright, I'll get to the monkey later. I don't even know what it stole. I wasn't paying attention. I'm in trouble here. Ah, I love these things. You just pop the stock and it has, puts out this healing gas. 
All right, monkey, where you at? I've got my nickel wand. I'm glad that it didn't fire it at me. Unless, maybe I am. I don't know. Shit. Come on. Ah, these damn things. They freak me out every time. They could totally kill me. They don't look that harmful, but they're scary. Here I am hallucinating. You know what? I'm zapping the nickel wand. I don't care. I want to see what it is. Did I zap it? Yes. And did anything happen? I think the spectral blade. Wait. The goblin conjured took damage, I think. Well, whatever. I'm going in. And that was lucky. I really want to find out what some more of these, these uh, scrolls and things do. It's really, really dangerous because, like, um, is it shifty? Yeah. The scrolls, like, I could aggravate monsters, summon monsters. I guess everything else is okay. For potions, like they could be caustic gas, which I could probably escape, but paralysis, like, I haven't cleared the dungeon level, so uh, anything could come at me. Incineration, I'd probably survive because I'm in a room with stone floors. Darkness, I have no idea what that does. I assume it just makes the room dark, right? Creeping death, I learned about that one. Last playthrough. Okay. Well, let's do it anyways. Telepathy. Okay. Not bad. Pretty good. Potion of darkness. Your vision flickers as a cloak of darkness settles around you. So this, I wouldn't consider this to be a bad... Well, I mean, it's bad. Okay, it's bad. Because it doesn't help with... My stealth range right now should be 1. But I guess the floating dark thing in the room is not very stealthy. Potion of speed, that's really good. Potion of fire immunity, not bad. Potion of detect magic, nice. That's good. Now I can see that... Well... I can see that my scroll has a positive marker here. A scroll of teleportation. Uh, why is it red in here? What's going on? I'm not taking damage. Isn't that weird? Why is it red? Is there like fire in here that I can't see or something? Whatever, I'm going down. It's red in here too. I don't think that... I don't know. I don't know why. Um, there's a bloat here.
Honestly, these are my favorite parts of the game. When I've just quaffed like five potions for no reason and I have like a million weird effects. And I'm just trying to cope with it. So the darkness seems to like slowly go away. Your pre your your pre preternatural mental sensitivity fails. Still darkened. Still don't know what that means. I get I mean I don't know. I don't get it really. Okay. Jackals. Easy. It's almost gonna eat again and I only have a mango. I'm just gonna eat it. That was a super good mango. It totally refilled my nutrition. That's all I need for a day. Pink jelly, you know what? I'm not afraid of you. Monkey. You can't take my sapphire ring. I really need to find some skulls of identify. Because I bet a couple of these rings are really good. And I still don't know what my dagger is. But the first time I played, um, well actually technically it was the second time, I played uh, this game. <laughs> the phantom egg shoots an arrow. Was it a phoenix egg? The first time I played this game, um, I found one of those weird carpeted rooms. And... Um, there was a dagger in it, and it was like a plus five dagger of, uh, what was it? Dagger of stunning or something? Dagger of paralysis? Oh, I really wanted it. I, I only knew in the replay what it was because of um, um, omniscience mode, but I actually didn't take it. And now would have been a great time to have that, uh, what is it? Conjuration staff, because there's a there's an acid mound just down this hallway, and I could just cheese mow it with my swords. But now I just have to kind of deal with it. Okay, there's gold here. Hopefully I just won't see it. Yep, there it is. I walked right up to it. It appears to be about as fast as me. This, uh, oh, I got, well, no, that's the game, not teleportation. Okay. Well, this is really bad. My scale mail uh, got weakened. I don't have time right now to take it off, so it's just gonna happen. It's just gonna happen. There's nothing I can do. Oh, cool. Okay, it happens pretty much instantly. I think I switched daggers. I'm kind of losing track, but I'm just gonna melee this and see if I can get away with the. Uh, with fighting it here. This is really inconvenient. I don't see a way out of this. What are you? What are you? What are you? Caustic gas, that won't help. Uh, telepathy, hallucination, enchanting. I need to scroll. Nickel wand. I mean, we can try the wand again. Polymorphism. That's amazing. That's so good. Oh my god. Oh, it's so lucky. I mean, I don't even know if I can kill the vampire bat with this much health right now, actually. And my terrible, terrible... I'll, I'll at least switch my dagger. And, uh, no, I cannot. Nope, that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna do it again. Uh, V. Apply. That way. Where are you now? A Naga. I'm going to go ahead and assume that I cannot kill a Naga. And apply again. Explosive bloat. You know... A toad. Okay, I can kill a toad. 
I think. I'm pretty low on health. Oh, this game is so hard. Ah, no, I died. Let's see what I had. It was just a plus zero dagger. It didn't even do... Oh, it's so bad. Ugh. Ring of Stealth and a Ring of Regeneration. See, that's why I wanted another Scroll of Identify, because that Ring of Regeneration would have been so good. God, this game, the Sword of Speed. Oh my god, how cool would that have been? Oh, them's the breaks. Them's the breaks, I guess. Let's see, is my follower still here? You are. Thanks for watching, dude. I'm going to log off. Um, feel free to come back anytime. I play weird games like this, but especially this game. So, yeah. I think that if I end now, it cuts off the stream. So I'm going to hang out awkwardly and uh, wait for the stream to catch up before I stop the stream. It cuts off the stream. Okay, we're ready.